the NAMM show on the Bose booth with Chris, who's going to show us the S1 Pro. Now, this is something we've already reviewed on paper, but I've never tried this speaker myself, and I don't really know how they managed to get all this performance into a small box that can also run on batteries. So Chris is going to tell us all the trade secrets. Yes, I of hope. course, the, all, all, the, all the important details, right? So yeah, so the Bose S1 Pro multi-position PA system uh, it allows you to play in up to four different positions. It's battery powered, lasts up to eight hours. You can use it as your own monitor. You can use it as a PA system. You can put it on a speaker stand as well. Or you can use it as a monitor. My favorite thing is that right there. You can use it like that. It gives you three different input options too. So you get XLR and quarter inch for a guitar mic microphone. It's really designed for a singer songwriter um, primarily. And also you have this third channel for Bluetooth. So if you want to stream some multimedia or karaoke, things of that nature. So we took the whole thing and put it in this small condensed package. So what the secret is basically is a articulated array in there. There's three drivers that are like in succession and that's in front of a high excursion six inch woofer in the back. And together it gives you the ability to play in any position that you want. You can play it like straight on, you can play it in the tilt back position. Um, and also tone match as well, it has other. So this is a EQ switch, you can do um, guitar, you can do microphone, or you can have it off for like a DJ or pre-recorded music. So that allows you to EQ the sound system to always sound its best in any of those four positions. Okay, and if you want to fix it on a, a pole mount, is there an adapter for that, or do you have a, a secret pole mount socket underneath? Yeah, so there's the pole mount's a standard 35 millimeter yeah, in there, okay. and has a little switch in there too. So the speaker can sense that it's on a stand, mm -hmm. and it'll implement a house EQ curve that optimizes it for the stand. That's very clever. Yeah. And uh, I guess this is two of these will be loud enough for a, a, a duo playing in a small bar somewhere. It's perfect for a duo playing in a bar. Yeah, you can have one per musician or you can link them through this line output as well. Yeah. So you basically can link the two, do stereo from a mixer up front. Um, they play to about 103, 105 dB each. So, yeah. so two is perfect for a singer song or cof coffee house, things of that nature. Yeah, and of course it's a nice clean hi-fi kind of sound. It's not like some of these battery powered speakers which sound pretty boxy. This, this sounds very sweet. Especially for vocals, yeah. So, so one of the actual, the secrets of that is the frequency range that between the woofer in the back and the, the, uh, the front is is it's outside of the vocal range. It's around like, I want to say like 500 Hertz, which is down outside of the, the intelligibility range. And as a result, it preserves the vocal frequency range really, really nicely. And that gives it nice, clear sound that you okay. mentioned. Well, obviously this has been available for a while. And I, I notice you now have these colored covers. What's the story there? Yep, so these are available um, starting around May, uh, new this year. So it gives you the ability to customize your S1. Um, it's acoustically transparent. So it also protects it as well. So you got a nice little zipper back here, put it on, nice cutout so you can access all of your IO. Basically, you can use it and it can blend in with any kind of environment that you want to or um, things like uh, care, uh, wedding DJs, um, uh, houses of worship, things of that nature, anything that you really want to do, so. That's excellent. So can you remind us of the US selling price for this speaker? Yep. The US price is $599 for the speaker and it'll be $59 for the uh, playthrough cut. And the covers are available now? May. May? Yep. Okay. That's a perfect de definition Good. of NAM, isn't it? Yes. Not, not available, maybe May. That's what it stands <laughs> Is that for. what it stands for? Yeah. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's great. Thank you very much.